So it looks like Sneeko started to talk outside of his neck again in regards to Kai Sinat, all because he said this about him, which made him very mad. You, you don't think that's serious? If I was out having sex with somebody else, would you take me back? Yes. Yes? I love you. Yes! Yes! Who are you, nigga? Sneeko? <laughs> fuck you, fuck you mean yes, nigga? If you hey, love me. me. You, you don't think that's serious? If Yo, Kai, Kai, don't you pay, don't you pay five thousand dollars to fuck women because you can't get girls? What are you talking about? We saw you spent you, you doing five k Zelle transactions to get box, and you're gonna talk about me? Let's not talk about. Oh, oh, oh. well, we can we can keep going if you want to keep going about this. I don't want to hear anything about sex coming from the multimillionaire who's paying five k to strippers to wash up OnlyFans girls. Keep that on that side, Kai Sinat. Your fucking McDonald's Zionist sponsorships because you can't say free Palestine. Shut the fuck up, Kai Sinat. Bot. Bro, you, you are bought and sold. Like, you can't speak about anything at all. That's why you get all the sponsorships you get. Because they know you're a good puppet clown who's going to bark and scream all day long. And you're going to be good for brands. Because if you speak about anything real, it's gone. That's why you get McDonald's. That's why you get the Zio corporations. And that's why you pay $5,000 for pussy. Ugh. Let me tweet out the stream. The fact that he really said, oh, he can get more girls than, than Kai Sinat says a lot about him. You're a grown ass man who's over here saying that you ought to feel absolutely embarrassed about what you just said right there. And look, I don't even know if that whole bit is to be true, but even if he does pay for it, who cares? He is a millionaire. A lot of millionaires pay for box. A lot of them do, and they pay it for silence so that no girl can hop online putting out pictures and videos saying, hey, guys, look where I'm at. Keep in mind, there's been some women to do that. And if he does pay for it, that's probably why he does the things he does. Because he knows these women, if not, are going to go to social media, run their mouth. Do you really think a woman's going to be silent off a of fucking a millionaire for free? What world do you live in? What reality do you live in? Because it's not this one. And he talked about the sponsorship thing. He got all them sponsorships. Because unlike you, Sneeko, he knows how to shut his fucking mouth and get to the fucking bag. When you get up like Kaisenot, you're supposed to get to the bag and maintain it by any means necessary. Even if it isn't the, the popular or unpopular opinion. Screw it. The only reason why you ain't got no money and you're broke is because you don't know when to shut your mouth. You don't know when to leave well enough alone. You had your chance. You could have been in the same position in the same in the same rooms as Kasanat and Speed. Hell, at one point you was, and you blew it off because you wanted to talk about the Jews. You're jealous of Kasanat because he got a McDonald's deal and you didn't. Maybe if you had a played your cards right, you would have been the poster child for Nike. But instead. You're broke getting pennies by the dollar on Rumble. Too much money ain't enough money at the end of the day. So why try to hate on him getting a brand deal? And all because he dunked on you about getting cucked, which by the way is the reason why you hate black women, oddly enough. You got cut by one and you think all black women are like that. And that's why you have certain skewed views of them. And I don't want to hear, oh, Kyle Sinat came in him first. It don't matter. Sneeko is the world's punching bag because for one, he don't know how to keep his mouth shut. And two, it's the damn truth. If he don't like people talking about him being a cook, maybe he should have shut his damn mouth and not even open his mouth about that story in the first place. And we wouldn't even be here. But no, you gave people ammunition and you're mad at them for using it. But with that being said, y'all let me know what you think about this story in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video.